Hello, everyone. Uh, everyone knows the protocols by now, so please raise your hand and then uh, I'll select you to ask a question here. Uh, I see Joe is the first one to raise his hand, so I'll let Joe uh, ask the first question. Hi, Hunter. Uh, how are you this afternoon? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing all right. Thanks. Thanks for the time. So what was your Saturday like coming in, not expected to start, then landing goes down in warm-ups and you get to start and you're out there. And then once the game began, how do you think you did? Um, I mean, I was very prepared going into the game. I think every single offensive lineman that traveled was just as prepared as I was. The coaches really put emphasis on that because at all times, you're kind of just one play away from going in there and playing. So um, I was fine. Like I felt prepared when um, they told me what the deal was. And uh, as like with regards to how I played, I mean, in my opinion, you can always do better. And I think it was a great learning experience uh, for me. And then going back and film on Sunday. And um, there's definitely things I get to work on this week that I can focus on. So. We'll go Tyler next here. Hey, Hunter, good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. Um, curious what the action, the game action in September did to kind of get your feet underneath you for that moment last Saturday, um, you know, making the making the move uh, up a level in college football. What, what did all those snaps in September do for you, getting ready if you have to play even more against Minnesota as well? Um, I mean, obviously it's helpful just getting snaps, getting experience for any position. Um, and the competition in our conference is great. So especially early on with Purdue, that's where we started. Um, just getting snaps, getting experience, kind of getting used to the speed of the game, really prepared me. Also competing with the guys on our team who are all really talented, really quick, really fast, really big and strong. Um, that also got me really prepared for Saturday, so. All right, Donnie, go ahead. Hey, Hunter, coach mentioned after the game uh, about needing to get bigger on both sides of the ball. And I'm wondering from an offensive lineman's perspective, I, I, cause I'd imagine there's some challenges to blocking bigger guys that are obvious. And there's some challenges to blocking smaller, faster guys that are obvious. What, what, what how do you, you know, I, I don't want to say, which would you rather face, but what, what are some of those challenges for you guys when, when, as an offensive lineman, when you see these guys are a little bit smaller across the board, but quicker and a little bit bigger across the board and stronger. I mean, obviously your technique changes just in general. When you have a guy that's 340 pounds, um, you know, we're trying to get double teams, just trying to move them off the ball way more, especially in the run game. When you have dudes that are smaller and quicker, mm -hmm. you just have to be more careful, especially in pass protection, because um, they have that twitch, they can get around pretty well. But I mean, they do a good job preparing us for both of those um, situations here, so. And Andrew, go next. Hey, Hunter, uh, I know you've heard 101 things about the whiteouts. Uh, how juiced are you for that atmosphere Saturday night? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm really excited. Uh, I don't think that, I mean, definitely the energy just adds to the overall environment. But, I mean, we're preparing just like it's, I guess, any other game. But, I mean, it is, it's just kind of a cool experience. You get to be a part of it. Um, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to even, like, be here and get to do that because that's like you know one of the top like three things in college football that you always see um when it's talking about like things to see so i'm really excited it's gonna be really cool and nate you next hunter you uh you spent all that time at right tackle at um at cornell i'm, I'm just curious how you feel like you've acclimated to uh moving inside a little bit to guard um it was definitely an adjustment. I think it was a bigger adjustment than I was expecting. But the tools that um, Coach Troutwine and all the other coaches provided for me, like in camp, I like they got me ready for it. Um, it's just a really everything happens really fast and way quicker. And obviously, you're dealing with bigger guys in general, and also you're moving up to Big Ten from an FCS conference. So um, that was a challenge. But they did the coaching staff did a really great job, like all throughout camp, getting me ready um, and adjusting me. So I think it's gone well. Seth, go ahead. 
Now, this is a follow-up from Donnie's question, but what's the difference in size between the D-line that you typically faced at Cornell, now at Penn State? I mean, it's 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 different. Um, you know, I mean, I obviously, I love my old teammates there. Uh, but also playing tackle, I'm going against FCS size DNs rather than, you know, Big Ten size three techs and shades like PJ. Um, so, I mean, the the difference is probably like 60 or 70 pounds that I was going from that to what I'm going against now. Andrew Destin, you can go ahead next. Hunter, I'm curious. You're six games now into playing with this team. Um, I'm playing under head, uh, offensive coordinator Mike Yersich. What's it been like being part of his offense, and how has it been similar, and how has it been different to what you were used to playing under at that FCS level? Thanks. Um, I mean, the, the cool thing about football, especially offense, is that, you know, the plays and the schemes are pretty similar across the board, whether it's, it's inside zone, mid zone, outside zone. You know, your pin and pulls, your gap schemes, your counter schemes. Um, so it's kind of just a difference of adjusting my, like, terminology, like different calls for certain blocks and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, like, the coaching staff, Yersich, Trout, they've done a really good job, like, helping me. They did a really good job helping me adjust um, from my old playbook to this one. All right, a couple more questions. We'll go with Tyler next. Yeah, Hunter, um, what have you kind of seen in, in working with Landon Tangwell? What stands out about him, competing with him, getting better with him? Um, and kind of how has it worked when you guys were rotating and, and kind of keeping the egos in check? Because I know you both would probably love to be full-time starters. Um, Landon is an incredible, like, person, football player, especially for um, his age, being a young guy. He's also a huge body. Like, he has a really impressive build, um, and his personality is impeccable. So, I mean, egos were never, ever an issue. We were constantly – we still constantly are talking to each other, trying to help each other improve. If we have questions, we can talk to each other about it. Um, I think it all kind of comes back to just trying to make the unit better, the offensive line unit, as best as they can be. All right, Donnie, you can go next. Hunter, what were some of the technical things they helped you with moving from from tackle to, to guard? You said they they the, the coaching staff really helped you kind of make the adjustment, but what were some of the things that you know the the, the lay person wouldn't necessarily know you're you're doing differently at, at guard that, than you're doing at tackle? Um, I mean, I think it all kind of goes back to the fact that you're in a way tighter space in the run game and um, that you're, I was dealing with bigger guys than I was used to. So the fact that you're in, like, you have way less space to operate, and once, once the ball snapped, you know, the defensive linemen are on you, like, really fast. They just helped me uh, work on, like, my hands and my feet, getting them in the ground faster, getting my hands inside in the right position so I can have a better leverage on the defensive linemen. And the pass game, it's, it's kind of the same thing there's just less space so you have less time to read what's going on with the, what the defense alignment is going to do the tackle you know you're setting out the defense alignment is probably like two yards away before the ball is even snapped but when you're a guard or center they're on you so um just working on getting my hands up kind of like timing your punch is a really big thing um coach Trout does a really good job teaching us how to do that and just getting reps and stuff like that two more questions go ahead joe Hey, Hunter. Uh, so real quick to follow up on my last one, uh, roughly how long was it before kickoff that he found out you were going to start against Michigan? And also a different question. Um, I asked Barney this a few weeks ago, another guy that played at an SCS school for four years. Was there a specific moment for you when you realized that going to Penn State was going to be kind of a different animal than what you were used to at Cornell? Um, so to answer your first question, I honestly, I'm not really sure, but I mean, it could have been, I mean, e even if it was like a minute before kickoff, I think I would have been prepared because the coaches kind of gave me those tools. And so, but I don't really remember to be honest with you. And then your second question, uh, I can't remember like a specific moment where I was like, oh, this is different. 
I was prepared for that moment because I was like, once I committed, basically, I was just kind of, I was like, there's going to be a play where, you know, I get like punched in the mouth and I'm like, oh, this is Big Ten football, you know, and um, that probably happened, but I can't really recall right now, but just probably the first full padded practice, like our first full contact practice, everything was just going way faster than, um, than it does at a lower level everybody's stronger so it was probably that uh, just the first full practice practicing camp all right nate and you can ask the last question here hey hunter I, I apologize if this is looking too far down the road but um i think you have another year available to you if you want it uh have you thought at all about what your future plans are uh as to maybe sticking around at penn state for another year after this um, I kind of just go week by week. So all I'm focused on right now is Minnesota. Thanks. All right, that's it. All right. Thank you to everyone who joined and especially to Hunter.